Hello. Today, we're discussing the spiritual warfare that is going on at this very moment, and how to best equip yourself with the skills and the ability to survive and thrive in this time. Let's get into it. We, as human beings, have a spirit that unites us all through conscious awareness. And with this comes information that is unique to all of us, and yet shared in experience. Think of the news. Think of content creation on social media. Think of thoughts that you project onto others. All of these are involved in our considered to be weapons in spiritual warfare. And what makes this form of warfare different than what's seen and commonly known on the battlefield? Well, spiritual warfare involves an attack on the human spirit and more specifically the attack on humans ability to favor the human spirit over material goods. As technology only further seeps into the mainstream and our daily lives, humans as a baseline are losing their grip on the connection that they have with the natural world. Now look up, look around, and look out. You may see this world does not appear to change at a rapid pace. And so what's the urgency behind the spiritual warfare? Well, the answer to that is within. And with this, I mean your feelings are going to reflect that which you're experiencing well before our planet does. In another video, I'll discuss ways to feel your emotions all throughout your body and why doing so is one of the most important skills that you can have no matter who you are. But today, let's talk about how to equip yourself with the skills necessary to become spiritual warriors in this warfare. Well, <laughs> first starting out, spiritual warriors sounds intense. And what this means in my eyes and in my heart is that we are flowing with societal changes and yet we recognize what brings us into states of bliss and harmony with the world that is home to us all. And together, we're able to find peace in the act of creation and of giving back to the, that which we are not currently taking great care of. Each of us have a unique role to play in this time of change. And the only way to find your calling is to go within and bring your deepest feelings to the surface. One way I'm choosing to do this is by speaking growing beyond my perceived comfort zone in ways that unite others to do just that very same thing. So my challenge to you in this challenging time is to remain true to yourself in what feels right in your mind, in your body, and in your spirit. Do not neglect future generations and those around you. Connect within, find what truly brings you into an elevated state of mind, body, and spirit alignment, and take action. Do what will grow you beyond your comfort zone and do so consistently in ways that unite yourself with others and inspire anyone and everyone to step up to the plate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.